with record heat just about over here in my Modesto, California Zone 9B garden. We've been over 100 degrees for the last month. Some mornings we didn't even get below 80 degrees and a lot of times we got up to 110. Questions abound. Jeff, how did your tropical fruit trees do in this desert climate? Hi, my name is Jeff. Welcome to the Tropical Garden Guy channel. Today we're going to go in the front yard and we're going to take a look at my exotic varieties of avocados I have growing and we're going to take a look at how they handled the extreme sunshine and heat of four weeks of over 100 degree uh, temperatures. But first, if you like this channel, click that like and subscribe button. Don't forget to hit the notification bell. Comments and questions, leave them in the comment section below. I do my best to get back to everybody with their comments and their questions. So let's head out to the front yard and we will take a quick look at my multi-grafted avocado tree and a couple so others. Here we are back at the, um, at the multi-grafted tree. And this one pretty much can give you an example of how, how this blasting heat has affected the tree over and over and over again. Uh, since the end of June. I mean, we have just been 110, 115. I think I had an, an extreme temperature of 115 at one time. Not so sure if it was accurate if the sun had hit the uh, the uh, thermometer, but <laughs> it is scorching. And yeah, a lot of folks ask, what the heck? You know, my, my, my avocado trees are just getting blasted by the heat. And uh, I noticed that, <laughs> My trees are doing pretty darn good. Take a look. Here's, uh, you know, a month of 100 plus degree temperature and my multi-grafted tree is doing just fine. We got lots of fruit on it. Here's big black coming along. They should be ready in about two or three months. Um, big black, I believe, is a Mexican variety. And as you can see, here we are on the west side of the tree and other than a little tiny bit of yellowing i think of uh some of the fruit that's out in the open that 110 degree heat has uh you know it's, it's bleached a couple of the fruit the black you know and it, the fruit did drop off i mean i had hundreds of fruit uh of the big black and they they just kept dropping off i don't think that that's the extreme heat it has done that in the in years past and so i'm gonna give uh as far as heat i'm gonna give big black a a, a nine out of ten in that it uh it handled our heat but i'm not really happy with the fact that it just tends to drop fruit look at how big these fruit are and the fruit are only you know three months two months after they've set so Big Black is doing okay, if you don't mind the massive amount of fruit drop. It did not drop fruit uh, just because of the heat. Um, it has been dropping fruit ever since it set fruit, even when the temperatures were in the 70s. So, I'm going to give it 9 out of 10 for heat resistance, but it's not the best. Now, we go over here to Queen. Queen Avocado is a giant fruit. The fruit average, hmm you know, over, well over a pound, two pounds, three pounds sometimes. And I do have, uh, let's see it down here. I do have one that's set. You can see here it is. It's uh, set about a month ago and it's doing pretty good. But you know, the um, queen variety tends to taco in the heat. As you can see, it's, it's not that hot right now. It, only about 85, it's early in the morning. But it tacos, but I honestly did not see any sun damage on the leaves. So I will give, even though it tacos, and it worries me when the leaf tacos like that, because then if it tacos too much, then the underside of the leaf gets exposed and it could get burnt. Now I did have to uh, whitewash this area right here because <laughs> that green wood will scorch. But I would give uh, Queen about an eight out of 10 as far as, uh, um, sun tolerance it just it's on the south side of the tree so it just did not get damaged at all uh, let's go over to 
this guy right here. This guy is the, um, this is Surprise. And I took, I took some Surprise budwood from the street tree across the, across my street, grafted it. This is the first year that it's been uh, on this tree and it took off. It's got about six feet of growth in one year. And yeah, Surprise did pretty good. It two tacos. Um, I don't see any damage. It does not have any fruit this year, I don't think, but uh, I could look closer, but make this video a little shorter than it would be otherwise. I'm not going to. I'm just going to say that it didn't set any fruit this year, and on the heat scale, I would give it about a 9. I don't see any damage, but that tacoing really worries me because... If the tree's tacoing in the full sun and 110 to 112, then we got to worry about it because it's going to start scorching the leaves. Now, here is um, here is Mexicola Grande. The goofiest thing about Mexicola Grande is the top part of it. The the branches tend to be exposed. Now, when you got 110 degrees and blaring sun on those branches those branches will scorch but i'm gonna be honest with you mexicola grande it doesn't seem to bother now there's a few there's a few small spots where there's some sunburn and i really should whitewash those use some iv organics or maybe some um maybe some um latex paint white latex paint mixed with 50 50 with water but um, to be honest with you, I have a feeling it's getting this tree is getting ready to go through another growth flush, and I don't want to have to get up on the ladder. I think that it will uh, cover those branches with uh, with some uh, leaves so that I don't need to whitewash it. But uh, look at this guy! I planted this. Believe it or not, pineapples also grow in California Zone 9B. Look at this guy! Pink pineapple, just doing so gorgeous. I plant them underneath the canopy of the tree. Number one, pineapples need a little protection from uh, from the sun during the 110 degree weather, but they make excellent companion plants in that you can see they get a little protection from the canopy and they do just fine. Uh, that is my variegated pink pineapple. Uh, it made it through the winter, no problem. Didn't get any root rot. But anyway, get back to the uh, Mexico La Grande. It is probably the most hardiest uh, variety. I, I, as far as the sun, I think this guy. I would give this guy a nine and a half in that uh, uh, that it, it it does so well. Not a single fruit got sunburnt. Not a single fruit got damaged by the heat. Ne never dropped a single fruit once they set. So Mexico Grande. You can see we're gonna stick her on like cherries here. Mexico Grande. I would give it a nine and a half out of 10. So what else do we got over here? We have what I call, some people call Bay Area Gigante. Some people call it Gordo Gregg. I don't know whether, you know, that's an official name or not. I got this budwood off of a tree, seedling tree in the Bay Area. Uh, met the little old lady that owned the tree she gave me some budwood told me i could have fruit and i did some videos on it check in the in my uh on my page you can see that i've gotten a number of videos i made guacamole out of this giant three pound fruit gorgeous delicious tasting fruit it's a guatemalan variety i believe and as you can see the leaves tend to be tacoed crinkled and they are sensitive to the sun. They are sensitive to the sun. As some tropical plants are, soon as it gets above about 105, I start seeing some damage. And while, it, I don't know if you can see that, but way up at the top, some of the leaves where they tacoed got scorched. So, other than that though, as you can see, these leaves are not too bad shape. I didn't protect anything. I didn't spray anything or cover it with any kind of shade cloth. So I'm going to give this guy about a 6 out of 10, maybe a 5 out of 10, in that it just, I mean, considering it was 110 degrees a couple times this year, it's doing okay. It does have some fruit set on it. 
think I'm the only person, the first person to, uh, to uh, graft this tree and get some fruit off of it. But yeah, that's the uh, Gigante. Some people call it the Bay Area Giant. But other than that, this tree has done good. Now, let's go over here to the uh, Carmen Hass. The Carmen Hass. I planted this Carmen Hass last year, and as you can see, it's fairly opened up. But you would think that a tree like this, a young tree like this, opened up hasn't filled in yet no very little canopy would get scorched it's as you can see it's all by itself in the full sun i did not cover it and it's doing just good this is carmen and as most of you know carmen is a very uh, precocious tree and in my yard it's no different look at this i've got a couple fruit already set on it it there in the full sun the sun doesn't seem to bother it I have to give this tree, and it could be just the way that I I bury it, you know, I, I planted it in the ground on a raised bed so that it gets really good, uh, it gets really good drainage. So I can water a little bit more during those heat waves than an average avocado tree uh, that's planted directly in the ground. I gotta give this guy a nine out of 10, doing just fine. Now, here's one that did get affected by the heat. A lot of folks think, you know, you got to cover, you got to cover your trees. Once the temperature gets, you get a heat wave. Some people say you got to shade them when even when it's 90 degrees. That's not been the case. This tree wasn't damaged, didn't get this little sunburn on it until the temperature of 110. And as you can see, it's just doing fine. Now, I did, like I said, you can see I did put a, uh, finally had to break down and Put a uh, umbrella up there when in doubt and they're small and as you can see the tree is just beautiful this is just a one-year-old grafted uh, tree this is the uh, bear a giant the gigante or whatever you want to call it, that seedling that puts out round three pound fruit it's doing just fine I believe that if I didn't put that umbrella there it still would have been fine the rest of the uh, summer but to be honest with you, once they start getting a little sunburnt, you see how the tacoing causes the uh, tacoing causes the leaf to be subjected. It seems like to uh, uh, sunburn. But so that's what we got there. As you can see, all of them, all my avocado trees, I use a little uh, whitewash, or in this case, that was IV Organics. But yeah. That's pretty much it. A lot of folks want to take a look at my, some of my other stuff going on here. My um, macadamia nut tree did get a little sunburnt. As you can see, a little bit of sunburnt. It's not too bad. Everything else in my garden did pretty good. Banana trees looking good. Getting ready to fruit. Got a little pink banana right here growing. He's doing pretty good. Everything is just doing pretty good. And hey, you guys, if you guys are interested in some updates, make sure to click the like and subscribe button. Don't forget to hit the notification bell. Comments and questions, leave them in the comment section below. I do my best to get back to everybody's comments and their questions. You have a wonderful day.